Good day, my name is Aaron Schnacki and I am author of Forex the Gold Arbitrage. I realized in a dream I was having that if you, if you move your money in a circle, you would have the same amount you started with. So I wrote down the cross fraction of a triangle and using the price of an ounce of gold, we will look at the pip change and the percent change of a price of an ounce of gold. So first, the disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. I calculate the gold price and the pip change for entertainment purposes only and educational purposes. Uh, I am not a licensed professional. My opinions are my own. I'm not responsible for your actions and this is my contact information. This is a paper I write out to explain the math of a triangle using three variables and how the fraction of a numerator denominator work using the fourth decimal as a pip. So moving on, we're going to have a look at, it is currently five minutes before the 8.30 London Open. And on the economic calendar, it looks like we're going to have some economic data for the euro coming up here pretty soon. Moving on, looking at the gold price, the price of an ounce of gold over the past hour. Over the past couple hours, the yen has been the strongest currency and the dollar has been the weakest currency. As you find the percent change at 0% here, anything over the 0% line, the price of an ounce of gold is increasing so that currency is weak as it takes more money to buy the ounce of gold. And any currency below the 0% line, the price of an ounce of gold is going down so that currency is strong. And with how a fraction works, you want the numerator and denominator to be the most opposite. So the dollar would have been the the weakest currency and the yen would have been the strongest currency and thus when we pair together the dollar and the yen you will get the biggest pip change based on the math of a triangle of a fraction here we have the dollar is slightly higher on the yen overall uh, and it's gone from 136.30 to 136.67 about 30 pips up in the past hour. Over here we see the dollar is slightly stronger as the dollar is bidding Australia, New Zealand and Great Britain. Taking a look at the one minute chart we see the dollar is below the zero percent line. Australia is the furthest above so Australia would be the weakest and the dollar or the yen perhaps would be one of the strongest. So here we have the dollar Australia which has gone down from 68.14 to 67.95, about 20 pips in the past 10 minutes here. So we have about three minutes before the London Open, and we'll just continue to see how this plays out over the next couple minutes. We have Australia and New Zealand turning weak as the price of an ounce of gold is going up, and the dollar and the yen are below, so those are strong. So we'll see if uh, the dollar and the yen continues to be strong and Australia and New Zealand be weak or if they're going to flip here. Looking at the top we have the euro dollar, the pound dollar and the euro pound. Australia dollar, New Zealand dollar, Australia New Zealand. Here we see New Zealand has been stronger than Australia over the past 20 minutes or so. Taking a look at the yen versus Europe and Great Britain, Australia, New Zealand. It's about one minute until the open. If all four of these are going down, that would mean the dollar is strong, as the denominator would be pulling all four of these down. Australia continuing to be weak. New Zealand also being weak. The yen showing m the most neutral or closest to zero towards strength. Here we see the dollar 
maybe starting to get stronger as it goes down although the yen seems to be the strongest see if the yen is beating the dollar is slightly stronger than the yen so we'll see if dollar strength maybe a dollar Australia right here and it looks like the London 830 just now opened and we'll see if there's any significant moves here we see perhaps the dollar getting weaker as Europe and Great Britain are beating the dollar here we are the dollar is showing through with weakness New Zealand Australia not as not beating the dollar by as much as Europe and Great Britain between the two it looks like Great Britain is slightly stronger so we'd look to see Great Britain beat the dollar by more And here goes the dollar is becoming weaker as Great Britain and the Euro and the Yen strengthen. Looking at the dollar Yen, not too much different. But we see the pound is much stronger than the Yen. And New Zealand is a little bit stronger than the Yen. So here we're showing dollar weakness on everything except for Australia is fairly weak. But mainly we're showing the pound strength here. as Europe and Great Britain continue to get stronger and the dollar perhaps weaker over the next couple of minutes the pound dollar went from 2083 to 2097 about 15 pips up and we'll see if that continues now here we have a clear divergence where the dollar is above the zero percent line and the pound and most others are below so we have some serious dollar weakness here as the pound continues to be the strongest to pair against the weak dollar we see the yen beating the dollar from 136.67 to 136.45 about 20 pips and the pound is continuing to push higher against the dollar so I think we'll leave it there this has been the London Open it looks like the strongest currency was the Great British Pound or perhaps the Yen and the weakest mainly being the dollar weakness showing through there's our slight reverse candle over the past two or three minutes here we have had the pound dollar go from 12084 to 121 so it's about 15 pips in the past three minutes and with that I would just like to thank you I do appreciate your time and I hope you have a great day